Hello, beer tubers, and welcome to yet another beer review with me, Peter D. Master of Hoppets, taking out another American like macro lager, or just a macro lager. Um, it, just a macro beer, I guess. But uh, yeah, I've been checking out a few macros. It seems like you guys think it's fun that I check out these beers I never tried from around the world, even though they're quite, you know, shitty usually. It's always kind of fun to check it out, especially if you've never had it before. Now, we're diving back into American light lagers today, and we're diving into Michelob. Ultra. Look at that can. Like this is not something you see in Europe. This is only on these web shops that like import American beers and soft drinks and whatnot. Uh, but yeah, so Michelob, Michelob Ultra. I've, I've had this, you know, I had the regular Michelob when I studied in the States. I tried it. I never reviewed it. I think it was at a party actually. Uh, but that was like, kind of like, this is made by Anoise Bush, AB InBev. Uh, but I think it was from the Bush department. It's the same guys that did the Bush and Bush Light and stuff like that. Also, is it natural ice? I can't remember exactly. Uh, I don't know all American beer history, but they, they developed the Michelob beer, which was supposed to be a superior lager beer, and it was only sold regionally at first where it's produced, and then later on it was sold on a bigger scale because of pasteurization. And they used to be like in a teardrop bottle or something like that. But since then, I guess Budweiser has adapted this as their more, uh, I don't want to say crafty brand. I guess that's kind of what they're trying to make with it right now. But they're, they're marketing this. Uh, this is like their higher quality beer brand. So they do like the Michelob. They do this Michelob Ultra, which I think they changed the name to just Michelob Light. And then they do like a, an amber, a bock, and I think they even do a pale ale. And they talk about how it's well-crafted beer and all this. So I guess this is... One of the brands have turned into something that is trying to, you know, go against or, you know, try to hit the kind of craft market. And the fun thing is that or originally this was also intended to be kind of like superior beer. It seems according to what, you know, you can read about Michelob online. Uh, but yeah, light lager again, 4.2%. Uh, it says this is not made with rice or anything. So that's also good. It's online, at least on there, the Michelob site. It says it's pure choice, two row and German hops and stuff like that. So that's pretty cool. Uh, a little bit of caramel malt it says, but I don't think so. I mean, look at that. Um, but we'll see how it is. We'll see how it is. Michelob Ultra. So pours put way too much in the glass. I tried to get a head, but the head just fizzed away quickly. I mean, that's, that looks how you get it served in America in like a random sports bar or something. It's also apparently they really associate this marketing wise with sports. I don't know why, but look at this. Filled to the brim, but so pale. I mean, the American light lagers, pale lagers, they are, I mean, they look like freaking beer water. They look like that you took a, a beer and dunked in water to water it down. It's only 95 calories for a huge bottle like this as well. But that's, I guess, the appeal of light lagers for people. And I will say, they're really fucking easy to drink. You can drink a shit ton of them before you start to get really drunk. We found out about that at the 4th of July party I had. But um, yeah, it looks what you'd expect from a light lager from the States. Again, another beer that's given, you know, the states the reputation of brewing beer that's fucking close to... Oh no, like having sex in a canoe, it's fucking close to water, even though that's not the case anymore. Whitehead, let's check out the aroma on Michelob Ultra. Oh yeah, much more pleasant than the Dos Equis I just had, because that was like an apple bomb. So much acid aldehyde. This actually has a little bit of a grassy hop note. I will say, this also does have a little bit of acid aldehyde. There's a, and it also has a little bit of oxidation, but I don't know how these guys, you know, when they import the beers, if they're, it's probably not cold shipped and stuff like that, you know, which is not completely fair, but that's just how it is. I mean, it's a company that, where I bought this on these shops online. It's companies that focus on just getting loads of different American things. I don't think they focus too much on beer quality because it's such a broad spectrum of th things they sell. But it's pretty much like all the other light lagers, you know, it's super light on anything. There's some malt underneath, and then there's a little bit of a grassy hop profile, but yeah. Super duper light. Let's try it. Cheers in Michelob Ultra. Oh yeah, much better than um, the um, Dos Equis, because this actually kind of tastes like beer. Well, that one also kind of tasted like beer, but it was just so off-putting to me at least. This has got a little bit of hop character to it. This has got a little bit of a grassy, lemony thing without being a lot. But the oxidized kind of papery 
um, cardboardy thing is definitely there too, just a little bit. Being in a, one of these aluminum bottles, it's not skunked, which is nice. And yeah, there's a little bit of sweet malt. I it's again, it's super light. I think it's definitely got more flavor than a Bud Light. The Bud Light is like even closer to water than this. Like, um, like it's just so light. This is a little bit more character. I would, this is actually something I would finish. I would drink. If I was off at this, I would actually happily enjoy this in the hot sun. sun because it's not got too many off flavors that's off-putting. And I know that this can is like from December or something uh, last year, so it's really old. But cause all things considering, this is holding up quite well. I said I thought I'd shit on this a lot, but it's not as bad as I thought I'd, it'd be. Certainly better than Bud Light. Some straw-like grassiness. It's very citric and lemony. Like the hop character is very singy on it. And the malt is super light as in all of them like they're watery. Not a, an amazing beer by any means, but yeah, I I actually drink this. Not something I'd seek out and like I really want to get this, but in a situation where it's hot, you're at a party, whatever, I wouldn't mind drinking a bottle of Michelob Ultra, especially over something like Bud Light. Again, not something I'd seek out, not something I'd say you guys should seek out, but for what it is for an American light lager, it's definitely not the worst you can get, I'd say. I'd go a straight 50 on this one. Like for a light beer average, like boom, 50, I'd drink this. I would still say, I think I prefer some of the others we had in the 4th of July party, but we'll get to that because I'll be reviewing some of them. But yeah, it's okay. It's, it's like one of those, yeah, I'm, I'll take it, but for what it is, an American light lager, not the worst. So yeah, there you go, Michelob Ultra. I'm placing this surprise, but this one that was actually nice compared to uh, Bud Light. It's like the, probably one of the, the the worst of all the light beers in my mind, at least from what I've had so far. So yeah, I mean you can drink a ton of this in the heat. This ha this has a purpose. Like in the freaking heat outside, it's just like easygoing and drinkable. It's like a party beer as well. Um, but that being said. Not something you should ever go out of your way to get. So yeah, if you guys had a chance to try Michelob Ultra, let me know what you thought of it. And as always, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page, and Twitter, and Instagram. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I'm going to say cheers to some macro lager. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this. More is coming. And I'm going to see you guys in the beer review.